Let's go back to uh, my colleague Ngobila Matlala. She's uh, at DUT, Durban University of Technology, where once again there's registration issues and it's late into February as well. Ngobila, hello to you. And that means a lot of these students are wanting to get into class and to get studying as well. But right now they're delayed and the SRC are saying no classes for today. Do I have it right? Well, yes, Garrett, they're saying there are multiple issues at the moment that the students have had to be faced with, hence why you're seeing these long lines. We have just been asked to leave DUT by the security guards, but what you still see here is long, long lines of students that are still looking for assistance from DUT in terms of accommodation, in terms of registration, and so on. So I'm going to bring in now SRC to speak to us about these issues. We do understand at this point that you guys are faced with quite a lot of complaints from the students. Tell us a bit about it. Thank you very much. My name is Sanel Ndwando Ibarra, the convener of the EFF Students Command leading the SRC in TUT. So here in TUT we are facing lots of challenges as we speak. As you can see, there is a line for students who are being denied accommodation. So we have taken an, an initiative to close classes because TUT wanted classes to commence today while there are still students who do not have accommodation. These students have been sleeping outside as from the 16th of January until date. So enough is enough. When they say they want classes to commence, they must first deal with these issues of students without accommodation. And also we have the issue of students who were given offers by TUT and they have paid for registration fee only to find that those students were later, were later uh, taken away their offers by TUT. And there's this one individual from the Department of Admission, Dr. Nombel, is the one who's dealing with admission. So each and every frustration we faced from the admission office, it is her responsibility, not anyone, because those students have paid their money for registration, but today, as we speak, they are not yet registered. And those are the issues that we are fighting for, including the one of NSFAS students who are still waiting for NSFAS court. We are also fighting for those issues. We want those issues to be resolved in order for classes to commence. We want registration to proceed in the absence of classes because we can't allow classes to proceed while students are still excluded financially and academically or otherwise. And I mean, I understand that you, you've had a couple of meetings with management. Tell us how that went. No, there have been meetings with the management. We've been sending the SRC president because he's the one who's leading engagement within the boardroom with the management. So issues that we have been facing, these issues didn't come today. They came from the 16th of January until date was still facing them. So we've given them simple and the proper solutions. They must extend or increase uh, registration intake of TUT because they are the ones who have given so many offers. They are the ones who must be responsible for the intake of TUT students. All those who were given offers, they must be registered. And we've been giving them that solution from the 16th of January until date. Students who are still coded for, by NSFAS, we've been telling them that they must make a clear and a resolute solution to unblock all deserving students to register while they are still waiting for NSFAS because it's not the fault of the students not to register. And the issue of accommodation, we told them last year, not even this year, while we are still preparing for this year, that they must make sure that come January, all residences are confirmed. We know the numbers of beds, we know the numbers of applicants in TUT because all applicants are being run through by, or by the admission office. So they know the number of students who must be accommodated. They are the ones who are responsible for making sure that they get beds that are equal to the number of applicants. So, so, so what happens now then? So currently what is happening in TUT? Campus is closed. There is only one department that is operating, which is the Department of Housing, because we cannot allow students to sleep outside. All those students who deserve to be accommodated, they must be accommodated until all these issues we've mentioned above are resolved. We are only going to allow the Office of Accommodation to continue operating, but 
if we face the very same issues that we have been facing, if the issue of accommodation is not yet resolved until date, we are going to make sure that we are also closing the Department of Housing because we cannot allow a situation where DUT is busy. -ish. I don't know if it's a, it's a good space or what, to styling our students the way they are doing right now because this is an insult to black students in particular. Siabong Akul for speaking to us. Well, there are some of the students that are here that are hoping to get that assistance. I mean, tell me a bit about what you're doing here today. I'm here to register for arrest, but I haven't been allocated to arrest. And I've been here now, it's been two weeks I've been wanting to give a residence. And I'm a returning student. Last year I had the same problem. We were being uh, accommodated in in temporary resident. In temporary resident, it isn't easy because ev every morning they're chasing us outside. It isn't good. We are facing the same problems every year. DUT is trying to frustrate us in every way. They are prioritizing their money before students. So we are heartbroken. As you see a student that's sitting here and we, uh, we don't know what to do. We're supposed to start an academic year right today, but see, we can't start because we have see issues, a student can't be outside like this and be, be see, yeah, yeah, I'm frustrated and I'm not talking. Concerning indeed, when I see what's happening here, um, Uput is just explaining to us how concerning it is as he is a returning student and he still doesn't have accommodation. What's, what's, what's happening with your side? Okay. Uh, my name is Nonsando Mutsu. I'm, I'm also a returning student. I was here so that my faculty could call me. I have been coming here since the registration started. They said I'm not on the funding list. I keep on coming back, coming back, coming back, but they haven't helped me even now. I'm back for that issue. They told me that I must wait. They are not helping me with that today. I don't know what to do right now. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Well, Gareth, as you can hear, there are some frustrations from students as well, saying that they're returning, but those issues still remain. But also from SRC, we're hearing that nothing is going to commence at this period until all the students are accommodated. And we wait to hear what uh, the reaction is going to be from uh, the management as well. Ngobile Matlala down in Durban for us at DU2. Appreciate uh, the update. Go back to her again later in the day. So once again, we're into late February and registration issues issues and accommodation issues uh, certainly not being dealt with, especially down at the Durban University of Technology.